Welcome! This video tutorial shows the basic steps necessary to calibrate images using a Felion Lab or a Felion Developer. In order to carry out a calibration, the software must be in administrator mode and you should have a live or stored calibration reference image. Lastly, the steps shown in this video must be followed in sequence so that existing calibrations are not inadvertently overwritten. After launching a Felion, make sure you are in administrator mode. You can tell if you are in administrator mode when the calibration task icon is present in the left hand side taskbar. If it is not present, go to Tools on the main menu bar and select Enter Administrator Mode. The calibration task icon will now appear on the taskbar. Within a Felion, calibration can be accomplished by capturing a reference image, or using a live image, or even opening a saved reference image. In this case, a saved reference image will be used. With a reference image in the visualization window, the next step is to select the calibration task and to first define a new calibration. Click on the new calibration icon in the task window, then enter an appropriate name and click on Create. With Calib 1 now defined as the new calibration, the next step is to define pixel shape and choose the real world measurement units. If the pixels are truly square, then calibration only in one direction is needed. For this example, we'll choose microns as our real world units. The procedure for the determination of measurement units per pixel is the same for both the X and the Y directions. It consists of aligning the calibration tool over a known distance on the reference image. Proper placement will depend upon the type of calibration being used. For the standard used here, it is best to center the end marker of the calibration tool over the center of an appropriate calibration mark. For best results, the calibration tool should span approximately 80% or more of the image as long as the vignetting or other edge effects do not distort the image. With the calibration tool properly placed over a known distance, the distance is then entered into the ruler size box. Either press the return or enter key or click on the image. Then the new calibration measurement units will appear in the display box. In the final step, the calibration is applied to the image by clicking on the resolution icon and then selecting the new calibration. And to save this calibration for future use, click on Tools and then Save Administrator Settings. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For additional information or other tutorials, please visit www.adsys.net.